Hello everyone. Sorry if I'm going to be talking kind of quiet. It's really late and I'm staying over at a family member's house and they are trying to sleep. I know I always make videos really late at night, but anyhow, this is going to be another Frozen video of more Frozen dolls. And today I have with me the birthday party Elsa doll from the Frozen Fever short film that's coming out this month I believe so let's get started with the doll review this doll oh my god I must say is a big improvement over Mattel's this is by Mattel so she's a big improvement over the dolls the frozen dolls Disney princess that uh, have been produced in the past so um, so let's get started with her face is so pretty. She's kind of got a Disney store, like the Disney store doll. She's sort of got that sort of vibe with her side glance. And way more detail going on with her face. Let me give you an example. This is the older Elsa face. She has sort of cat-like eyes and she looks more... I don't know. She looks more Barbie-like. It's like uh, what Elsa would look like if she were a Barbie doll. So, you know, it's like a Barbie doll type Elsa doll. So, <clears throat> as you can see, the irises are different. I don't know. These eyes seem to have more of a innocent feel to them. The lips are different. The eye design is completely different. She has more eyelashes. Although I do love these eyes. I do love those kind of eyes. And she has the sort of archy eyebrows that are, you know, just kind of like that. And her hair is the classic type of hair style and everything except now she has this flower instead of a crown. I always take Elsa's crown off because she never wore it in the movie. The blue one she comes wearing. Um, but before we had molded on stuff and now like this doll was originally like $13 so something like that. And this one was two dollars extra. So, and for the quality of this outfit, the material is very soft. I am loving the emerald green and the uh, teal and lighter greens on her. I mean, it's just such a nice look for her. <clears throat> Let me give you a shot of her hair. Her hair had a bunch of gel in it, but I washed it and I restyled it, so... I've restyled it into its original style. So, she is just so sweet looking. I mean, just, she is so gorgeous. Um, one thing I've noticed the Disney Store version doesn't have is this. It's her, the Disney Store version is just a one-piece dress. And this one's two-piece. And the material of the dress is so soft. And I love how it's open. I love how it's that way because before we had this. In the movie, her dress was open, giving her a sassy sort of, um, you know, sort of look with showing off her legs a little bit. Her shoes, oh my god, her shoes are so very beautiful. Emer emerald green, a new mold for the shoes. And her cape is much longer than it usually is. Just look at that. Let me compare it with the with this one. Yeah, see? Much longer and the shape of it is actually curved instead of just cut straight across. And her legs are not hollow, like most of these. Um, like with this one, her, you can hear that, they're hollow. So, 
Her legs are completely hollow. And these ones don't bend, but they're not hollow. You can hear that. It doesn't have a hollow sound to it. So her legs are completely solid. No molded on sleeves or anything like that. Her arms can rotate. Her hips can rotate her head. Everything. So, and I do have the box. I just didn't show it in this video. So, I'm going to keep her box because I really love it. But, yeah. <sighs> I do have more Elsa dolls. Um... As y'all have seen in my other Snow Day with Elsa videos, sort of some of them look kind of, their hair looks kind of stringy because I just washed their hair. So, um, this is my singing Elsa with her push button and everything. So, I've had her in several videos. So, yeah, she's got the same sort of face. And she's basically the basic Elsa doll. Except her gown, her skirt at the bottom is a little bigger. And it has this material. And that doesn't. And also you can see there's bigger glitter pieces here. Smaller ones there. I think this one's hair is actually longer. But it's basically the same as your basic Elsa. And then here's the new Elsa, the new basic one, which I don't like how they changed the color of the sleeves. I really liked that color. And she doesn't come with the cape. Instead, she has this tool on the sides of the skirt. And it's just kind of cheap. And she also has a new face. You can see the irises are different. Makeup is different. Same face. They all have the exact same sculpt. Just different face design. So I have four Elsas and then an Anna. So I got the original Anna, basic Anna. I cut her bangs because they looked stupid and I took her hair down. But yeah, I have Anna. So, those are all my Frozen dolls that I have. But yeah, that is basically my review over my Frozen Fever Elsa doll and all my other Frozen dolls. So, thank you guys for watching.